The High Court intervention has, at least to some extent, ensured that the completely compromised position of the TMC government and all the authorities involved, at least now, it can be stopped. It cannot be reversed, but it can be stopped to some extent now that the CBI has come into it. And moreover, it is a CBI inquiry which is going to be monitored by the court. However, the fact is that the principal of the college, who really has to be held responsible for it, because of the statements that he had made, because of the fact that he has allowed the destruction of evidence, because of the fact that he tried to protect his administration, he tried to protect the accused, he was extremely insulting to the parents of the victim of this most barbaric incident. So this principle, just asking him to go on leave, I don't think it is sufficient because he is directly involved in the cover-up. Therefore, it is important for the CBI to take the principal into custody. He has to be interrogated by the CBI. That is what is essential. Because after all, the head of an institution who tries to cover up a crime has to be held responsible and accountable, and that cannot be done by simply asking him to go on leave. The man has to be called by the CBI, has to be taken into custody, and he has to be investigated. And secondly, the issue of the police. The police commissioner also, even before he could know the details, he gave a clean chit to the entire authorities in the hospital. How can you have a police commissioner who tries to cover up such a heinous crime? So how can the police commissioner remain in his post? Therefore, taking the principal into custody and interrogating him, removing this police commissioner, otherwise how is this investigation going to have any credibility at all? These are the people who tried to cover up. And we all know that the health minister is the chief minister herself. And therefore, this entire setup there is geared towards concealing the many layers behind this most heinous crime.